one of uh, my colleague was working with me before uh, 38 years. Now he retired and uh, is in uh, village. Because I had no contact with him since 25, 30 years. His son called me. He sent an email to my office that my father worked with Mr. Yusuf. This uh, 1976-77. So he told me that I never believed this. But my father sent me a photo where you were doing loading of loading at that time. And my father was looking. I was a coolie. I was a storekeeper and I was salesman. So I know the difficulties of my colleagues. In this series, HSBC has looked at a number of businesses treading the well-worn path of growth and expansion across global markets. Having an almost business sixth sense in understanding an opportunity when it arises is perhaps the biggest asset a business leader can have. I sat down with Yusuf Ali M.A., the managing director of Lulu Group, one of the Middle East's largest and most successfully developed retail conglomerates, to hear the fascinating story of how he transformed himself into a titan of retail. After all, it's never just business. I'm Riz Khan and this is the CEO's Outlook with HSBC. My uncle was here, my father was here, so and they were doing small grocery business at that time. My grandfather told me his father, that's me, my great-grandfather, was also a businessman. Small business in, in our village, alhamdulillah. Now in grocery, how we can make a big grocery? Not even thought about supermarkets. Our expansion was very slow and steady. So I started to import tea from India. And some different parts of the world, I started to import small, small, small products and start to distribution. Distribute the big supermarket, big wholesalers, plus some catering companies. We are made to big supermarkets. Then supermarket and department stores. Then big department stores and big supermarkets. Then now shopping mall and hypermarkets. You know, that is step by step by step. So we expanded, not in, in a very fast time. We expanded since now 43 years I'm here. Our expansion is very slow, steady. And we will never diversify our business. If you look back on that time, what was the, the one happy moment where you thought, this is really going the right way? Was there any one moment? At the time of Gulf War, some people thought to stay in this part of the world is difficult. So I decided to start the biggest hypermarket at that time. Because I know under the dynamic leadership of His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan, this country will prosper. So we started the biggest hypermarket. Because I told the business community that this is the time that should stay with this country. We opened the first hypermarket at 1990. The biggest hypermarket. So as everyone was going this way, you said, no, I'm going this way. And the loyalty paid off, of course, yeah. You have like uh, well over 100, about 117 locations, mashallah. When you have that kind of uh, property uh, collection and, and, and business, it's, it's a lot to keep an eye on. How do you manage to, because you're obviously very focused. Decentralization is my policy. In each region, suppose if in, Abu, in, in Dubai, we divided into three parts, three regions. One Abu Dhabi, Dubai Northern Emirates and Dalai. So there's a regional director there regional manager there, one commercial manager there, and one business development manager there. So each area they should look after. You also take the approach, based on that advice you had from your grandfather and your father and uncle is in the first place, of constantly moving, because you're expanding your business more globally as well now, I see. Now, we constructed India's biggest shopping mall in India, Cochin, my, my state. And another shopping mall we are going to construct in Trivandrum, the same state, and we will go to some other states also. And now our concept, Halal Hypermarket concept, now we are going to open in Malaysia, Indonesia as a potential market, and also our massive expansion plan in Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Of course, it was a very different landscape, even financially. How were you able to fund such an expansion? See, at that time, 
British Bank of the Middle East. At that time, no, I just busy. The name was British Bank of the Middle East. So banks helped. I never thought, still, that HSBC is a banker. Either British Bank of Middle East or HSBC now is a banker. They are partners with us. What is the definition of a partner? That when you are in downfall or when you are in up with you. So HSBC treated us like that. In India also, you now the bigger India's bigger shopping mall, we are working with HSBC. And in all GCC countries, and now in the uh, Far East also, you now we are working with HSBC. Well, I was wondering then, is that how you keep the balance between your uh, you know, business life and your family and the personal life? In some area has to sacrifice. Every people cannot get everything. In my old time, I had a big sacrifice, my family, because I want to work hard to reach somewhere. So some, some, some people have to sacrifice something to achieve something. So I wonder if you were to give advice to a young CEO who's looking to, to achieve the same sort of success or try to achieve that success, what are the three things you have learned perhaps that they should know? In any business, first honesty, second hard work, three the quality and service and the price. This is the five advice that I can give to my future generation. I never thought about retirement because I'm still here. <laughs> when a time comes to think for retirement, then I will tell. It's too early to tell. What would you do though? How would you spend your time? This is the question. Let me retire, then I will tell you that what I'm going to do. <laughs> it goes without saying that with the right perspective, you can achieve anything in business. Catch more stories of ambition and achievement with me, Riz Khan, and HSBC. And as Yusuf Ali can attest to, after all, it's never just business.